Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. In this short video series, we're going to take a look at using the Super Elevation Diagram to make manual edits and customizations to your Super. In this first video, we're going to do a quick introduction of what we were given and what we're trying to accomplish. So, I want to point out we have a proposed centerline alignment and we have an existing ground surface. We have another alignment, but it's not going to be needed. This alignment has a couple curves. Stationing is already good. In this case, we're going to kind of pretend that someone else calc the super, maybe in another software program, something like that. And we are basically going to try to recreate the super. So in Civil 3D, there's a couple ways you could do that. You could basically take the textual or comma separated import format and input a text file or CSV file into the super elevation area the grid view so that's one way you could do it or you could just look at your report and type those stations and cross slopes in manually so that's all totally valid and there's there's been a lot of videos and that kind of thing made on that process in this video we're gonna just our series we're gonna take a look at actually using the diagram and and sometimes in my opinion it's easier to make some changes and tweaks in the diagram it's also showing what's given so we've got a profile and I forgot to mention the profile is already defined so we recreated this profile inside of Civil 3D a proposed profile and then also we were given a chart of the super elevation so we've got stations and cross slopes of all my critical super stations and these are for the travel lanes right and left we also have shoulder and although the shoulders were not shown in the diagram they're actually shown in the report so we have a reference also so here's a quick super elevation report where we have critical stations and cross slopes for the shoulders as well as the lanes which match the diagram as shown before so we're going to use those uh, both the um, super elevation diagram we have in just image format or PDF as well as the report to tweak some super elevation that we throw out there so we're going to use the ASHTO wizard because we know this is done with ASHTO standards we're going to get the super elevation onto the alignment for each line the shoulders and the lanes then we're going to come back and use these values given and, and to tweak and customize that super elevation another thing that another case that I did mention of all the cases you might do this is if there's just some manual super caps done a lot of people still calculate manually and especially when you've got special cases and you've got existing conditions that have to be met you know you may have an ash toe base super elevation but in this station range you need to do something else because of whatever is on the side so stay tuned for the next video in the series